All right, so here we have Pancake. And you know what she likes to do when I'm not around? She'll jump on my desk and she'll take things off it and take them downstairs. So the other day I wake up and I find that down there on the floor in the kitchen. And if you don't know what's inside this, I reviewed these the other day. These are earphones. She took them and brought them down here. I don't know why she did that. But not only that, when I walked into my room, I took a look at my chair and I saw my earphones like this. Now, if you want something that's 10 out of 10, quite easily 10 out of 10, these. She can actually take this. I don't mind her taking this. It's the other earphones that I don't want her to take. What I do is I hide them in my beanie hat. But yeah, anyway. Inside this box is a speaker and I chose to get this speaker because of the pictures that they use on Amazon. They are ridiculous and I'll show you those in a second. But first, what I'm gonna do is just open this up. Ah! Just kidding. That was a nice clean slice. Slice again and again. Let's see how big this box is compared to what's inside it. That is what is inside it. Is it? Wow. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the floor. As soon as I put this on the floor, she's gonna jump in it, watch. Is she gonna get in? It might be a little too small for her. But you never know. Well, I know, she's gonna get in it. She always does. And there you go, she's inside. So predictable. Let me try to pick her up inside the box. I'll try to pick you up while you're inside it, yeah? And there we go. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this then and get it out of here, what does that say? UK, made in China. Let's hope it's been here for a while because I don't want to be catching the Rona. And out comes that. All right, so I'm guessing that the holes on here mean that the speaker can stay inside there and you can like hang this from something. All right, so here we have the contents. That there is a speaker, this, and we also have these. Nothing else. Oh yeah, there is this. Four ohms, and as you can see, it's a very powerful three watts. Wow, check out that frequency response. 180 hertz to 16 kilohertz, amazing. And on the other side, we have another picture. What does that say? Long press, three seconds to turn on, three seconds to turn off. Signal for turning on to charge. USB socket. And then when we open it up, what we have is something to draw on. All right, so what should we do? Let's, um, does it open up? No. Uh, let's, um, let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. Let's see if it turns on, yeah? All right, turned on. How would I turn up the volume? Nothing turns. Um, well, anyway, the speaker is exposed and for you nerds out there, it's slightly overexposed in the brighter areas. Other than that, it's got a bit of weight to it, which is good. Uh, I mean, it would have because it's made of metal, which is also good. No plastic. I mean, there is plastic, but it's, you know. So what I'll do now is I'll connect my phone to it and we'll see how it sounds. And because it's 160 hertz to 16 kilohertz, I don't think I even need to use another microphone. This microphone that I'm wearing has a frequency response of 50 hertz to 20,000, which if you've seen the previous video, you'll know how that sounds. Um, with music. Actually, I almost forgot. I'm gonna show you the pictures. Check out the perspective of this. That is 100% accurate and not Photoshop at all. Not only is the perspective correct, but also scale. This one, the bottle she's holding, is smaller than that. In fact, that is a little further back, which means it's bigger than her foot. Now, if this speaker was actually this size, I reckon it would sound pretty decent. Okay, so here we have the next two pictures. This one, I'll just about give it a pass. Scale-wise, completely wrong. And on this picture, somebody's really tried their best to Photoshop that. I give that about a three out of five. And the next set of pictures, this guy is High King and he has a speaker attached to his rucksack. Scale is wrong. 
Now if I went camping, I probably wouldn't put that there, because if I was going in and out of that tent, that might be in a way. And the last two pictures, this guy is clearly serious about riding his bike because one, he's got the gear, he's wearing the right clothing, and two, he's got one of these bikes. Anybody with one of these bikes is serious. Scale-wise, wrong, it's too big. And then we have the last picture. So if this speaker is directly behind these two, then scale-wise, that's more or less right, but otherwise, still a pretty bad Photoshop. Anyway, these pictures were on Amazon, and I thought I'd show you this because I find it cheesy when manufacturers decide to do this sort of thing. Why not have real pictures rather than Photoshopping them? At least that way it wouldn't look fake, and we could get a more accurate representation of the scale, because, you know, it's all here and there with these. But yeah, anyway. So I kind of assume that these two holes is where this would go through and sort of loop, but in the picture with the guy on the bike, it looks like this is attached to that. But yeah, anyway, I'll connect this to my phone now and we'll see how it sounds. All right, just got to find it in the list. And uh, it's called the A8. Paired. That was quite loud. And what I'll do is I'll just play some random music. Max volume. Alright, so this doesn't sound as bad as I thought it would, but it does sound pretty bad like this, but that's, you know, to be expected because the speaker's being covered. I know the reason why we chose to say goodbye, but I can help my feelings. Right now, I can't deny you never left my mind and now my heart is bleeding. Vocals sound pretty good. What I'll do is I'll put it in here. I'll put it that way around. Like that, and then we'll close it. Is it going to close? Should do. Don't know how much it's going to move around. All right, so I'm not too sure how it's going to sound now, but the speaker is right there. If you listen to podcasts, uh, something that just has people talking in it, then this is probably going to be for you. Music, not so much, but we'll see how it sounds now.
All right, I'm gonna be completely honest. I was expecting worse. At least, a, like, a little worse. Not much else I can say. It doesn't sound too bad inside this if you, like, if you place it the way I placed it, which was like this. When I got it, I think it was like that. The actual speaker itself doesn't really move that much, unless you press it the way I'm pressing it. And it's been dented, nice, all right. Dropped it right there, it impacted the tripod. Slides around quite a bit. Like I said, it surprised me, but I don't think it's waterproof. We could always check that out. Either way, that's turned off, and I will see you in the next one.